Congratulations on winning the Swedish Steel Prize 2017. Uh, you both must be very excited. Uh, what's going through your heads right now? Oh, we are just proud and honoured. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's uh, it actually we were here 2008 doing some parts where Kibi was nominated, and it was such a fantastic uh, uh, part and uh, and. Uh, sort of a day to learn from each other so we really were thinking that someday we would like to win this and now we are here so it's really great and when you woke up this morning did you think you might be the winner yeah i did actually <laughs> <laughs> but when i saw the other uh, contributions i got humble <laughs> so that it feels great but what does this award mean to both of you and your company as i said earlier it's like a milestone for our company and if you look at it in, in a bigger and broader perspective, it's an acknowledgement of what we have done and what we're striving for. And it also will, will uh, be sent out of media all over the world. We have 58 nationalities here today that see it and we know it will be impressed around the world in the mining industry. So it's a huge advantage for our, our goal to go global without technology. Can you tell me a little bit how high strength steel has played a role in, in your application and, and, and in, in your win tonight? It has been uh, crucial. It wouldn't have worked without that. The wagon would have been way too heavy to be sellable. And also, uh, for wear reasons, it wouldn't have worked in many cases. And last question, how are you guys going to celebrate? I haven't thought so much about that yet. Maybe Fredrik knows better. I promised something more, but <laughs> so, so we said, we actually we said that if we don't win the pre prize, we're going to win the banquet. But now we won the prize, so then we haven't promised too much, but we will do something nice this night and stay awake very long.